just stay there if possible. Don't come here. Stay there, Ronski. Don't come here. So I'm hid out behind this tree, but we hiked up from, uh, don't go down there, Paso, from that valley down there, way down and around. And this is the whole other side of a mountain that we don't, we don't, we don't ever get up here. But we're scouting today and looking for uh, wood today. And so we made it right to the top here. We were right up top here. But there's no shade up there. Don't come in here. Don't come in here. Back up. Back up. I don't want you wrapping up my camera. No, no, no. Good boy. You just come back by Unski there. Come on. You just come on back here. Come on. Get in the shade here. Get in the shade here. Oh wow. Oh no it's key. That's my boy. That's my boy. You guys get in the shade. Oh wow. Yeah, so some fairly big ants on that uh, log. I just saw that. Son of a gun. I'll just move this. I've had these guys on leads ever since way back there. I don't know what it was, but they weren't hanging around. Hanski was about a mile away. I had got Paso back, but I couldn't uh, keep up. And so Hanski, he was hunting. And he's a good little hunter. So he uh, he left me in the dust. And no doubt about her. He was trucking. So I put Possel on his trail. Luckily it's Possel's pup. So I put Possel on his trail and tied Possel on. And Possel found him. Munchkey was coming back though, he was running. <laughs> so it was pretty funny. And so he's pretty tired right now. And I'm tired too, this has been a climb. We climbed all the way from the valley. And we walked all the way around, so we're miles from home. So this has been a good uh, hike. It's a beautiful Sunday. It's like the last Sunday of uh, August. I think it's the 29th. And I got Possel and his big boy Unski. Unski's dug a hole in the dirt there. He drank two bottles of water up here. And uh, he's uh, tired out. You can't find a spot with a bit of shade on this high hill, and I didn't want to go down in the timber. That's no fun. So this little tree has a little dirt here, and they can they can lay in the dirt there. And then I had some water for them. I didn't realize that this, but I should have known. Every every stump has ants. But what we're scouting for is way down there, there's an old logging road that I can get to with my old truck. It's brutal. It's a terrible trail. But I can get there. And a year or two ago, actually two years now, I was up here. 
and there was a mother load of dead wood that had fallen. Wind windstorm came through and it knocked it all down. Now it wasn't dry then, it had just knocked it down. But it's all uh, hung up off the ground a bit, like two feet, three feet, stuff like that, crossed over. And, and I wanted to see if any of the guys from town had ever made it up here. I doubted it, but uh, I thought, well, I'll come and look. Because before I beat my truck up coming up here, I'll make sure the wood's here. And uh, sure enough, it's a mother load. It's like uh, it's like a gold mine of wood, and it's uh, it's these nice big trees this size. They're all down, and they have no branches for forever. Like a hundred, oh, longer than that, 120 feet, 130 feet. There's no branches that size of tree. It doesn't get small, and then the branches start. So you just lop that end off where the branches are and you, I can take all this end of the log that has no branches, splits, just hit it once with the axe. And uh, there's about, uh, well, there's, there's six cords of wood there, five, six cords of wood there without even thinking. So I can get my old supply. spot and then you don't have to go hunting around and it's all right handy I just a uh, little tug with my cable I just hook it on the truck and pull it down the mountain I'll trim it and lop, lop off the ends and just give it a little tug it'll slide right down to me pull it out on the little old logging trail and buck her up chuck her in the truck but I can reach them all. They, they're all above. I only look for wood that's above, right? I don't look for wood that's below the road. Just above the road. I can tug it down easy. So, I like wood that's down and dry for a couple of years. There's no sense me trying to load heavy wood that size that's not dry. All I got to do is watch when I'm hiking where these spots are. So because I was mostly planning on keeping Paso tied on anyway, I did have the harness on Unski, thank goodness. Because if I wouldn't have come with a harness, I'd have had to make one out of this rope for my belt or something. Because I normally don't carry a harness, it's just added weight. But I had one. These are some phenomenal dogs, boy. They can smell. And they think it's hunting season, which it is. It's pretty close. And so, I think it was a moose, but uh, I saw a great big moose tracks over there in the sand. And we just saw a big bunch of bear come up here. Big bear, too, holy cow. Crap's as big as my wrist. This is his turf. He likes it up here. There's nothing bothering him up here. And he's got the whole run of the joint. There's nobody comes here. I'm the only guy that comes up here. The last guys that were here logged this out, and there hasn't been anybody back since. I don't even think hunters come here. I think they're scared to come up here. It's too remote. They get hurt up here. They, nobody's going to find them. No cell phone, no nothing here. You gotta have a pretty good dog to come up here. Yeah, this is not for the faint of heart. You only come here with Swedish outcomes. The big boys. Possible. <laughs> and then you better be able to keep up too. <laughs> that right, boss? Come up here, boy. Yeah, that's my boy. That's my good boy. Jesus. Yeah, you're a good boy today. Pa, 
boss will help me out a lot today. He don't mind pulling when I say pull. He's pretty good. He's pretty good. So we'll be back in the shade in 15 minutes or less. And then it's cool down there. And it's shade all the way home. We're in the forest the whole way. And they're tired now. They won't give me any hassle. Unski will just stay right with me. He's going to have a snooze here. He's out. <laughs> He's a good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Smart boy. <laughs> Smart boy. <laughs> Basso has been such a good boy. He's a lovely fella. Unski's just like him. Yeah. I parked my camera behind that tree. I hope it's stopping the wind. I can feel it. But I won't film long. I just wanted to get a little shot of these boys. They're doing good, boy. So we'll have some more water. And then uh, Paso Hill uh, want to eat my snack if I bring it out. But he can't have it. <laughs> so yeah, no, it'll be good. He's a good boy, this boss. Oh, Nunsky's a good boy, too. <laughs> boss, so you're, you're chomping away like I'm a candy or something. <laughs> All right, Gosso, you just stay right there. Just stay by on ski. Don't go nowhere. Just stay. I'll just shut this camera off. Holy cow. My legs got stiff in a hurry. Don't be under here, Gosso. Unski, you just hang on. 